for number one here. If I want to simplify this, the first thing I do is take this 3 and bring it in front of the ln. So I got 7 minus 2 times 3 ln e. The next thing you do is you realize that ln e is 1. You just have to realize that ln e is 1. And then once you got all that, it's just a simple arithmetic problem. So I now have, this is 3, and then I now have 7 minus <laughs> 6, which is 1. For this type of problem, you get an answer of a number. You just got to follow the procedure. Now, for number 2, if we're going to expand this, the first step in expanding this is to rewrite each piece with its own ln. Now, this these two are multiplied together, so it's a plus when you expand. Since this is a division, you subtract. Again, multiplies are plus, divisions are subtract. Now, is that completely expanded? No. no. Powers need to be put in front. So this power jumps up front, and I got 5 ln e. Plus, this 3 jumps in front, I got 3 ln x. Minus the 4 jumps in front, 4 ln y. And I'm sorry the L looks like a 1. Some people think that looks like 51, 31, 41. It's not. Okay, curve the L if you need to. Anywho, that is a good answer. But most likely, there's one more step you can take. That answer does work. But you could also get, what's L and E? So this is also an answer. On a multiple choice test, make sure you're able to get both. Either answer works. Got it? Either this or this will work, depending on which way they want you to simplify it to. The last problem. Condense. Do you understand what I'm doing for condensing is I'm taking this and going back to its original? <coughs> Here I took it and spread it out, expanded. Here I'm going to take the, the final expansion and put it back to its original. So the first thing we do is take all these numbers up front and move them up front, move them up top. So I got ln y to the seventh plus ln x to the third minus ln 8. The next step is consider what a plus and minus mean. So I got ln and y to the seventh. It's a positive, so it's going to be on top. Now x to the third, that's a plus. So is it on top or bottom? It's on top because you multiplied it. And this minus means the 8 is going to be on the bottom. That is your answer. Now, a lot of times, again, these two might switch. A lot of times, they put x to the third, y to the seventh, because they like alphabetical. Not huge importance, but tends to be the answer.